Okay, today is April 5th, and I am down in Marshall. We're about to build a PVC greenhouse to bridge the gap between us starting our uh, sowing our seeds and when we can plant them in the fields. We've selected this space right here that's about a 15 by 60. Uh, we are planning on building something that's going to be about 14 at the base and run about 40 feet long. I'm going to take some clips today of the process, uh, hopefully do like little 30 second clips of different segments and time together and show you at the end. Okay, we got to cut the PVC pieces down in five foot sections. We have all of our pieces right here and our fittings, the T's, cross pieces, and brackets. We'll work on that later. Okay, we're joining pieces that we just cut. These have a T, which will be our end loops. All of the middle loops in between will have the other cross pieces. It's important that we're doing this on a flat surface so that all of our pieces line up. As you can see, we're Paying close attention to that. Okay, we're pre assembling the top to our first five foot section piece, which will have another piece from here going down to the ground. So we just decided to pre make uh, this first section again. This is the first time we've built one of these, so uh, there's going to be trial and error for sure. Okay, we started this project at about 8.30. Uh, tip when you're assembling the PVC, very good idea to do it on a hard surface. We use these wood slats at each increment where we were gluing the uh, connecting pieces. And now we're out finishing up with the end pieces to make the full uh, hoop section that's about three and a half feet wide. So basically we're gonna just uh, connect these together with our pieces in here that we cut uh, 42 inches here and this thing will be up today okay we just pulled out the uh, two by eights he's got some 24 feet long we're going to use as the base uh, he has recyclables he's a, a consummate recycler everything gets picked through and has had some wood for probably the last 15 years that we're going to be using for our... Okay, we're rolling. We're mocking up the end piece and seeing what our head height is. This is at a 14 foot base, which is maybe a little bit too low. So we've set up another mark here at 12. And we can show what that looks like when you set it up to that next rung. We have the, the rebar nine inches up. That seems to be holding it nicely. And that just added about <clears throat> probably 16 more inches above his head. So we're gonna consider this height or split the difference and have a 13 foot base. Okay, we are setting the base of the greenhouse. We're looking for 43.3, doing the crisscross to get it square. What are you off by? Off two, feet. off two feet. So hey, this isn't for TV, this is real. Okay, we're getting the bottom side rails in. This is what's gonna work. We're gonna anchor the poly to these boards to give us a firm bottom and, and hope this doesn't blow away because we're in an open area here and any winds coming out of the west or north uh, could easily blow this way. Okay, now we're setting our pieces of rebar. Uh, we've got our board set. As you can see, they're screwed in from the backside. 
and that's creating our height with our string line. We're at about eight inches above grade and that's what we're driving our pieces of rebar down flush to this point and that's what we're going to stick our uh, PVC right onto. Drive these pieces right down flush to the top. That's it. Okay, we have one of the sides ready to go. You see all of the rebar and the supporting uh, one by three pieces of wood to support the framing. Uh, this side is we're expect, expecting it to be about 42 feet long and we will duplicate it again on this side over here. You're right. And we're fixing the other side of the base here. It's going in much faster than the first side. Uh, it turned out that we set a transit up and have a five inch pitch from from this side to the uh, south side, and we're running a six inch pitch over 40 feet. Okay, we're gonna start building this sucker. We got our first section here, ready to go in the slots. I'm gonna drive these down eight inches where they need to be. Take a peek here, and that's our first one. Okay, now all the PVC pieces are affixed to our 2x10s, and we are gluing in between sections. Where did you put the pilot holes? But on these, on this side, we pre-drill and we're going to screw in so that we can take this out in sections if we want to in what? Is it three foot pieces or six foot pieces? Uh, they'd be, uh, this is all glued? They're going to be, yeah. So it would be a six, six and a half foot panel. Six foot eight sections. Okay. Okay, we have five hours into the structure and most of the PVC is up as you can see over my shoulder. We just have to make some connections with some screws so we can take this piece, uh, this greenhouse apart in pieces. I would say that's gonna be another hour. The ends should take us uh, probably a couple hours each. We're gonna put three foot doors on both ends and then wrap this with our poly and it's done. This, uh, it's gonna be tight if we're gonna make this in in one day. We may have one end or a portion of one end left for tomorrow, but uh, the second one, you know, or another one if we build, uh, will certainly go, go by quicker. Okay, we're at the point where we're constructing the sides. We've uh, marked the boards, three quarter inch treated plywood we had left over, and we're making uh, the ends we're gonna just duplicate each. So the one that he's cutting right now, we're just gonna use that as a template, pick up another sheet and make another one. We'll have both sides. Okay, we have about three hours of sunlight left. This is some rough sawn cedar right here. And again, this is a recycled product we're gonna be using to fasten and secure the ends of this greenhouse along these seams right here both sides and around the doors so uh, the only meat materials that were really purchased are the PVC uh, 10 foot pieces and the connectors and the poly everything else we're recycling or my header a little bit so that it fits on there nice okay we got a door in here it's uh, it's pretty darn close just gotta maybe trim the top a little bit or something but we got a good close there and uh, we're getting a side ready. It's been probably three and a half hours since we had the frame up so it's been taking some time to work the sides but uh, you know some customization with the windows is, is nice, a little extra airflow. 
uh, certainly a storm door, you know, he just had that laying around, so again, recycling there. Uh, keep it going. Okay, we have the second door in. It's about 10 to 8. We've had about an hour and a half of breaks since 8.30. Uh, we have a trim piece to go up on top, and then we are pretty much ready to skin this with our 6 mil poly. We're going to put braces on it tonight just to keep... Okay, it's the next morning, Friday morning. We're making our wood rails to wrap our plastic siding around. Frank is firming these up with steel clips. Easter Sunday, we finally got a little calm break in the action with about six mile an hour winds getting the plastic up on top. What we've done is wrapped it around the bottoms of a one by three on the bottoms. We have it sucked tight and we're screwing it down. What'll be left is to trim the ends and create boards going along the sides here to wrap the plastic up on the ends. And then we're all done. Okay, this will be the last clip here. We finished up getting the poly on top of the greenhouse, have it all stretched out. The insides are done. We have just some minimal pieces left to do, like those corners of the greenhouse, like I said before. But as you can see, it's, it's going to be... Uh, 99.9% .9 finished at this point. It's all graded on the outside. Uh, the inside. Is noticeably warmer. Noticeably warmer inside here already. And we are pretty much ready to plant. We can set, set down anything. Uh, tuberous wise onion sets or cabbage if we need to we can throw a heater in here he does have a temperature gauge hanging from the ceiling it's a nice old school one it's showing 70 degrees right now that's probably accurate so with about three hundred dollars and some uh, wood laying around we have this structure up probably in about 14 man hours. And what a great project uh, economical wise to grow your own food and extend your season.